Hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel and welcome in to those that are new. My name's Elle and today we are going to talk about that pesky item limit that we have to deal with in Disney Dreamlight Valley and also how to reduce it. If you watch my previous video then you would know that I'm very close to the item limit. In my last video I was at the limit so I did some trial and error to see if I could help myself. Basically, all that I did was I went through into every biome and I picked up every tree branch, every rock, every random item that maybe I forgot to pick up. I dug up every hole. I c covered every hole that I had dug as well. But let's first start off with the basics. If you look at the top number here, those are unique items that you have in your valley. And the bottom number is total items. Total items is the one that matters if you enjoy a decorating aesthetic like mine. Now, this is tedious work, but picking up wood, flowers, harvesting herbs, smashing rocks, and yes, even forgotten coins floating around your valley that you just forgot to pick up count towards the item limit. So during this little speed run of me cleaning, I counted 23 items that I picked up. Remember, we were at 2,959, and after cleaning up 23 items, we are now at 2,936. Also, complete side note here, but one thing that I found is easy is if you enter furniture mode, you can grab like wood, flowers, and you can move them to an area where it's easy to pick those items up. That makes life so much easier with this method. And then also it's super important not to forget to check behind your buildings because I've noticed like specifically with Shea Remy's and also uh, his house that how I have the buildings placed, there is still room for flowers to grow behind them. So I'm always like checking around this little corner here to make sure that there's nothing back there. So with all that being said, um, I'm sure I probably missed some items that count towards the item limit. So if you, anyone feel free to comment down in the comments below any items that I might have missed. But I did want to talk about the thorns because removing the thorns do not count towards the item limit. So we're at 2,916, and then once we remove these thorns, we will see that the total item count does not change. Is this method tedious? Yes. Does it work? Also yes. Because now I get to work on a speed build interior video after cleaning. Yes, Disney counts your interior items as well. It's very unfortunate. Another issue is that it is difficult to keep up with the cleaning because wood, for example, will spawn again right after I pick it all the wood up in one biome. The item limit is frustrating, but I do have hope that Disney will fix this in the next update. So let's make sure that we're asking for this um, in their Discord and then also on all their other social media platforms such as Twitter and Instagram. I think one positive thing towards this method is that you're going to have a lot of stuff in storage or you could just sell everything that you pick up and make some extra cash. I personally have felt overwhelmed having to clean before every speed build that I do. At that point, I'm pretty drained. I just want to be able to get inspired and then come into the game and go straight into decorating. I just want to be transparent and that I don't mean to like bash on this game. I love this game, but in order for me to keep playing it, I feel that this is something that needs to be addressed. Hopefully this video helps some of you. It's by no means a permanent fix, only a temporary one until Disney gives us the game and the functions that can truly help us to enjoy playing a little bit more. If you found this video useful, please consider liking, subscribing to my channel, turn those notifications on. I would love to have you in the community. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I hope you all have a lovely day.